Cinema 5D at IBC 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Hedge for Mac, the fastest way to back up media. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And f and bright ideas. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at IndieCam. And Raphael, what is this? This is a very tiny professional VR camera. Um, it is raw recording, it has global shutters. So it's a very small system for easy uh, VR production, professional VR production. Um, it has two 2K sensors. The special thing about it is that they're square. They're 2K by 2K. So actually all together it's a 4K system. And the sensors are mounted back to back so that um, the lenses are really close together and you get uh, minimal parallax, which uh, facilitates uh, stitching very much. Um, you can control uh, both cameras individually and manually. You can change shutter, gain, etc., all the functions that you need for professional shooting. Um, it records at 60 frames a second, 12-bit uh, RAW, so we have a very high bit rate. It's actually uh, 750 megabytes per second that we record to SSDs. Um, and uh, to Cinema DNG RAW format that you can then post process and resolve or after effects. Stitching can be done with Autopano or other standard softwares. And the entire process of uh, shooting, offloading, rendering, etc. is really fast because um, it's all standard formats. And the um, parallax is so small that you can easily uh, shoot, render, stitch and publish within one day. So is there anything comparable to this on the market uh, in terms of RAW? Is there a, another RAW virtual reality camera? No, not that I know. No, it's really, it's really special. We started the RAW for virtual reality um, because we wanted to have a very high quality two lens system because you have a lot of possibilities in post-production. Very interesting. So this means that this is actually kind of an indie filmmaker's virtual reality camera. Is that right? Yeah, it, it can be used by independents uh, a lot, but it's uh, we have a very great uh, response here from professionals, like from TV stations, from you know people that do really uh, VR as the main thing, um, and they really love it because it's a it's a very small and unobtrusive system that you can also place at places uh, where it's otherwise difficult for larger systems, like in concerts uh, or in theater and also uh, professionals really appreciate it because you can put the settings manually it sounds uh, bizarre but in most other systems you cannot do that and here you can set the shutter you can set the gain we have a special ND filtering system also to uh, control light mm -hmm. and most other systems use gain or shutter and if you use shutter for controlling your light you get lots of problems. First of all, the motion is very uh, stuttering and also if you want to stitch uh, shots with different shutter, there's always a transition in motion blur uh, and you can avoid this with our system in using the ND filters. With very big high-end systems you have rendering times of days for only a couple of minutes and that's really, the quality might be fantastic and amazing but in most cases, this quality also cannot be appreciated uh, you know, online or by people watching it. So we are presenting here an enabler, technological enabler, to uh, produce quickly and lightheartedly VR footage that looks great and can be produced and uh, published very quickly. Very interesting. Kind of reminds me on the days when uh, DSLRs first started to shoot video. Yeah. And at the beginning, everything was automatic. So yeah. filmmakers tried to figure out how to set the settings manually and yeah. started to use ND filters and yeah, things yeah. like that yeah. on those cameras. So yeah. it's yeah, very nice that they produce a, a camera that kind of enables this uh, kind of uh, aesthetic and filmic yeah. look in yeah. the virtual reality world. Yeah, because I think um, also what uh, this is just the beginning and one has to take care that also there is good content or good looking content coming not only in terms of uh, stitching, but also in terms of where to position the perspective of the VR camera. And of course, the most important thing if you do drama stuff is the acting and the directing. And for that, you need a system where you can quickly shoot, 
evaluate it, reshoot, you know, and work with it, like in a professional film environment. <laughs> it's like. Is there a chance to do a live preview? This image is kind of a raw version, but can you like uh, see a finished version while recording? Yeah, we're working on that. Uh, it's not finished yet, but we're working on that. It will be a preview uh, stitch. It will not be a very sophisticated thing for the beginning, but we can merge these two images into a sphere and then you can watch it over HDMI on a headset. Yeah, that's coming. Cool. And this unit back there is the actual recorder, right? Yeah, that's, uh, back there is the recorder. It's an, it's an embedded system which is V-mount powered, um, so you can use standard film V-mount batteries. Um, and it's also prepared for more cameras, more sensors. So the, this is the start of our, our road, so to say. Um, next version will be with three sensors, then four, then we start stereoscopic stuff. And it's all based on the system. It, uh, of course, looks a little bit bigger than the camera had itself, but it can be detached um, up to eight meters. And even further, if we use fiber channel uh, cables for the data connection, um, and it weighs five kilos. So it's it's not. I mean, this head weighs only 380 grams, which is very lightweight. But five kilos in the film environment is also not so heavy, especially if you can power it with a V-mount battery and just use it like a, a professional camera system. How much is a working system and working kit? The entire system, including the camera, the lenses, the uh, recorder, two SSDs, all cabling and so on, is 9,500 euros. And when will it be available? Uh, after IBC. So we have, uh, you can also rent it for 600 euros a day from us. We have some rental houses who are uh, adopting it now. And the lead time for purchase is four to six weeks. So you're based in Austria, right? Yeah. So uh, if I'm based in, let's say, the US, for example, can I rent it also? Yeah, you go. We uh, with our small systems, you know, we cater for the film industry a lot. Like uh, big feature films have shot with our systems, and we send out our gear everywhere. It's, uh, that's uh, we have the logistics already from the feature film productions. Very cool. Thank you very much. Okay.